there, I'm Ty Poole and I'm at the Explore STEM Conference at the Pearson Convention Center. This conference was put together by high school students. Let's go inside and check it out. Hi there, I'm Ty from CBC Kids. I'd like to sign in. Oh yes, okay, Ty. Thank you. This place is jam-packed. I'm told that there are over 3,000 people here. And all I want to really do now is figure out who made this, who put this together, and how did they do this? My name is Shyla Gupta, and I'm the president of Glen Forest STEM. My name is Tampreet Gooman, and I'm also the co-president of Glen Forest STEM. And my name is Sophia Chen, and I'm the Director of Logistics at Glen Forest STEM. It's been, um, I would say, a nine to ten month journey. We started this team last year in, I think, January, and it's been a constant struggle. I wouldn't say struggle, actually, it's been a challenge, and I'm really proud to say that our team has really transcended all of the barriers that have presented, and we've come today, and I think we would say it's a pretty good success. So, as soon as you walk in, you're going to see all these exhibitors, okay? We have students from all over Canada, you know, for example, we have students from, uh, from British Columbia, from up north. We have a school of indigenous students also coming here. Over here is the main hall. This is where all the keynote speakers are, the session speakers are. Back there is where we have some of the speed mentors where you get a chance to direct talk one-on-one -on -one with the speed mentors. Speed mentoring? Whatever is that supposed to be? I'm gonna go try it out. Hi there. Hi, how are you? I'm good, what's your name? I'm Todd Hor, I'm a professor of chemical engineering at McMaster University. Why did you come here? I come here because I'm a professor and I love talking to students. And I also think that it's really important, particularly for engineers, to tell people what we do. What are the most frequently asked questions that you've gotten so far? Uh, what is engineering? So that's definitely one I've been answering a lot. Uh, how do I get into the program I want? So uh, you know, what do I have to do in high school? What can I do to make sure that I could see you in the future? Oh, well, I hope you do come. So uh, I think uh, number one is just try to explore as many things as you can. And, you know, senior elementary school, high school, take different courses, even if there might not be courses that immediately you think that you're interested in. What do you do? Okay, so I'm an architect and I work for the Toronto District School Board. Now, if I wanted to become an architect, what would I do to get there? Okay, so you're in high school now, right? I'm actually in grade seven. Okay, well, it's never too early uh, to start, but to get into university, into an architecture program, generally they're looking that you have your master's sciences and that you have a, a decent um, level of accomplishment in those but they're also looking for that creativity. Man, this conference is great. I just really want to talk to some other people though, see what they also think. How are you guys liking it so far? It's pretty good. I mean, I'm having a fun time playing with all my friends, listening to the conference. Yeah, it's a fun time. It's a great uh, feeling, like learning about universities and uh, seeing a lot of uh, companies who'd like to uh, employ uh, people such as us. Do you guys think that you might get in the future like a job that revolves around STEM? Yeah, probably. Um, veterinary. I might do a little bit of engineering, but also animation, but that might not be part of STEM. Who knows? Well, it is, you know, because STEM is also kind of STEAM. You know, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And, like, they're, they're linked in a way. Art is kind of like animation as well. Wow, what a great experience. I got to talk to so many interesting people, and I learned about how STEM is actually used all the time in our everyday lives. And the coolest part, this was put together by high school students. For CBC Kids News, I'm Ty Poole.